Keeping in mind, there are three divine persons for mankind to know. God is for them and wants mankind to know that the roles of the Godhead are for them. I find it is for man's rejoicing to know. It is necessary to know and be able to know God's promises and be able to identify God's plans and promises being daily fulfilled. I find to know how the individual roles work for our good is planned to enrich our lives and is a blessing to daily be pursued. The Word of God, great value to the life of man. God's Word provides man with counsels and precepts to guide mankind in making profitable choices to achieve a life of blessings by the best use of self. I have learned following the word as directed by the Lord Christ Jesus is that which gives true freedom in using our freedom to choose the God-given paths of blessings. Colossians 1.16 For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. A vast world of blessings is set before man even though there is the evolving practices of sin's abominations due to available choices of worldly actions by certain sin abominations by vain men and their main contributing abomination choices. Ignoring of God's divine word that was employed by Adam and Eve, by genetics, brought sin into our flesh. In subjection to our sin-captured world, we shall always be faced with a choice to hear or ignore God's word of truth. Sin to be given serious thoughts. God's word lets us know God wants us to give sin serious thought, to consider how and why sin has a death hold upon man. I think of how death leads man to think of the reality of man's existence. That man can do nothing to stop death is a painful reality. The inevitable surety of death is due to the sting of sin, the darkness of sin occupying our sin-ravaged earth with the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life issues. The practice of such events lead to the darkness of soul's death sting by sin. 1 Corinthians 1556. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. 1 Peter 125. But the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you.